my experience, learning how to loop practice is the most effective and efficient way of using your time when you're practicing. As long as you can think while you're moving, while you're playing, this is, the going, this is going to really improve your practice speed. So, for example, rather than, say at the beginning of the swan, rather than... Yeah, I want to improve this, it's not very good. So, rather than doing this... just repeating over and over. I found that if you try to keep moving all the time, and just modify either vibrato, bow weight, speed, one of the concepts, one of the variables that changes the way the sound comes out, if you can modify that on the fly, rather than having to stop and restart, uh, it just saves you energy, saves you time. Every time you stop and have to restart, that involves an impetus or an energy and a thought. If you can do it while on the fly, um, so continuing the same on in the same vein This means that you can continue to practice without having to stop. Um, obviously here, as you can see, I was doing um, practice for pitch rather than rhythm and bow strokes. Um, you can loop for bow for anything like that. Um, for example, at the beginning of Dance Rustique, which I used in another example earlier. <laughs> And it means that you're able to practice a lot more without stopping, without having to add extra energy.